Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. It is wet. I am at the western border of the land. There is a creek running here. And this is the end of the swale system, the upper swale system on the west. Now this is running. Now it comes from the swale that is full. And this organic material, it's just amazing how it actually decomposes. And uh, the level keeps dropping. And every year we keep adding new stuff it's mainly branches and then also the hara brush and then this is the amount of water that comes in here so it's also a spillway that side where Luna is and it runs over this whole area of land. This is full and uh, I had it closed now for two weeks and I only opened it last night and uh, somehow for me to see, experience, feel, learn, observe once again what is happening with these swale systems. I never know if this is the last good rain. I'm sure there will be some flurries of rain in future. So this is the pond that we just passed and then all this full of water and then quite some water leaving this way filling up nine swales at the bottom This swale system is lower than what it can be but it is made like this because I had to keep avoiding these beautiful amazing trees. That's why I stepped it down. More water coming in here as we're getting closer to the source. It 
in this swale I also removed this organic material because it slows the flow and I will put it back because all this has been done to carry us through the hot dry summer months and uh, this organic material does a great job in trapping the moisture in the soil in this whale This is the first trail and then it steps down, steps down five times. I could not go uphill so we had to go round the hill. This area is here. They get a lot of water because they are the first parts of this swale system that receive the water. This is a whole microclimate in here, almost dark. It's the higher part of the land the highest is uphill from the creek this way and that way so this is full and the creek is running So this is blocked off just by cinder blocks but still allows more than enough water to come through. I can attempt to open this but I'm sure I'm going to be wet again. It's a lot of pressure against that sluice gate even that one over there uh, I even got a hernia from here once but uh, if it's a challenge we do it let's see okay moving but this one arm job Let's see how the water level drops because it runs out there. Okay, all the sluice gate uh, enthusiasts. He has been asking about this several times. Here it is. The level will now drop here, which is what I want. The level will increase here, which is good for me. 
I have no wish to trap all the water. First of all, it's impossible. Secondly, I don't need it. Okay. Simple system. Beautiful sight. This is the southern borderline on this road. Country road. This is the long walk to the far east. This is one of the highest two highest spots on the land 22 meters higher than the lowest this is the walk i do every morning and every evening with the dogs in the morning they are very excited because they want to smell who crossed the land in their absence and uh, they actually run around like a pack of mad dogs exciting time for their stimulus stimuli they don't have cell phones thank god for that and this is their excitement, this is their dopamine. This is how they read what is happening. And when one takes off, the others follow. And then soon they will start playing. It's also interesting that they pick this far east as their ablution facility which is good in the sense that they see the farm as home and then they pick one area to ablude themselves very clever dogs the system is also running It's an amazing amount of water. It looks like very little. But uh, running continuously, it's a lot. Looks like this spillway was operational again. The Three blocks on the exit there. Um, it's enough water in the system. Beautiful. We are thankful. Till next time. Goodbye.